Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is RBT, and welcome to another episode of my prelude to Madden 18 Longshot. And that is another episode of Madden 2008 Superstar Mode. Last episode, we retired our quarterback by popular demand and started a wide receiver. And by majority vote, like 90% of you want me to stick with the wide receiver. And thank God, because I accidentally overwrote the quarterback save with this one. So, if y'all would have picked quarterback, we would have been screwed. But thank God, y'all did. So in today's episode, we're going to be great and grind through some things. We got an agent signing. We have a couple individual workouts. Got an IQ test, another individual workout. And I think we'll actually go through the NFL Combine today. I don't know. It depends on how long the episode takes. I don't want to be like a 45-minute episode. But hopefully you guys are excited. I'm so like happy that we picked a wide receiver or used a wide receiver because we're actually like a 70 something overall. If you guys missed last episode, check it out on the channel because I don't want to spoil things, but as of right now, we're going to spoil some things. We're going to be great because we're a 70 something overall wide receiver who doesn't suck and we're not a 21 overall quarterback. So hopefully we can get some good agents. Hopefully we can be smart and not miss a question on the IQ test like I did last time. And hopefully we can have a good NFL combine if we get to that in today's episode. So if you guys are excited for this, let me know by dropping a like. And I want to thank you guys so much for the support that's been on the channel as of late. Because you guys are actually really enjoying this series, which is awesome. Because we still have 10 days until Madden 18 drops. And we're going to be grinding this series until that happens. And let's see, guys. We've smashed 2,000 likes every single episode. We've done it. Can you guys continue the streak? And if you guys do continue the streak, I'll drop another upload tonight. It'll be my first double upload in a long god dang time. But let's see if you guys can do it. As soon as this guy's, as soon as this guy, as soon as this video hits 2,000 likes, I will drop a double upload. But let's see if you guys can be great. Now with that said, let's go over the player really quick and just show you guys what we're working with. I'm a 5'9", 170 pound free agent rookie who I guess technically I'm not a free agent, but I'm even kill. I'm 0% towards the Hall of Fame, 1% lower than what I was with the quarterback already, so we're doing pretty good at that point. And I actually don't think it can show you much, so that was actually a fail. But with that said, why don't we go ahead and skip ahead to the agent signing. I think there's actually going to be an interview somewhere along this. There is an interview, but it's nothing too crazy. What is your favorite night before the game meal? Uh... Whatever the team is, teams have, as long as we're together at the table, bro. What's your macros looking like? I want some. I want some good macros in my meal. I like grilled chicken because no carbs. Actually, you need carbs before exercise, which is technically exercise during a football game. So, but a pizza or burger, that's that's not good for you. My stomach might get messed up during the game, and I don't want to go through something I went through during uh, when I used to play coach pitch because I pooped on myself in the outfield one time, and that was kind of embarrassing. I kind of had to hold my glove behind my butt so nobody could see the... the <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we'll go with that one. What other position do you wish you could play? Uh, I would like to play quarterback because I like to control the team's fate on every play. That's seriously how it was in real life. That's why I wanted to play quarterback. Whose jersey do you want or already have in your closet? T.O.'s, every time he says something, I eat it up. I eat him up every time I see him. Nah. <laughs> I'll pick Marvin Harrison because he's a nice laid back guy. What is your favorite thing to do in your spare time? I play with my freaking dog. I play with my wiener all the time. My wiener is my best friend. Let me tell you. Bye. I guess that's it. That's the interview. So we're going to go ahead and advance. We have another interview. Let's see what this one's about. Sam Maxwell. My boy Sam. <laughs> Freaking Sam. Just look at this guy. He, he looks like that guy from Mutt Wieners. He 100% looks like he's from the Mutt Wieners. A lot of scouts say you need some work in training camp. What do you say? I don't need to do any work. Because you all saw my one-handed catches in the last episode. Do you think you'll end up where you want to be? It doesn't matter. Nah. Uh, let's just go with this one. Who cares? What can you contribute to a football organization? I can be the leader of any team. Because that's what we're going to do. Because I have like 25 inch arms. What are the goal? What are the goals that you would like to accomplish while playing in the NFL? I want to become a star. Who cares about a superstar, or who cares about a Super Bowl, not a superstar? Because I do want to be a star. Because this is called superstar mode. And you got to be a superstar when you're playing superstar mode. So now it is time to move on to the agent signing. And <laughs> I don't know why you guys freaking watch me. Last time we did this, gosh dang, I talked about these agents for about 25 minutes straight. I freaking talked about all these fellas. Freaking, we can actually hire Ed this time. Freaking Ed. 
Last time we could only hire these two, these freaking two dorks, and gosh dang Lenny with freaking flowers on his freaking shirt. Oh, just look at these guys. Look at Greg. I would 100% hire Greg if Greg would want me to hire him, but he doesn't. Johnny, who's the guy? Is this guy right here, freaking Kurt. Kurt looks crazy. He has pineapples on his shirt. I don't didn't like Don. Brick looks like a guy that, like I said, is like a, a, a what do you even call it? A security guard at a nightclub. Chaz is just wild. Val, uh, Fakal, he has a weird name. This guy, he's crazy. Cassidy is a woman. <laughs> Not that I have anything against woman. She just looks, like I said, she looks like that, that principal that just gets on to you for getting an extra roll at the lunch line. Like, because I just want some extra cards. But Earl, I don't know about Earl. Graham, he just has a weird smile. And Herb, his name is freaking Herb. And I don't like guys named Herb. That's about as bad as Daryl. So we're going to go with freaking Ed. Like I said, Ed looks like a plumber. <laughs> It looks like a freaking plumber who fills up his pockets with grits. And when nobody's looking, he reaches in that pocket and eats some grits because he just likes himself some grits. And he knows deep down in his mind that it's disgusting. But when he looks around and sees nobody, he's 100% happy that he can get him a handful of grits out of his pocket and put it in his mouth and slurp it down as fast as he possibly can because grits are great. So we're going to hire Ed because we like grits. So we're going to move on to our first individual workout. And let's see how we do. Hopefully this isn't as painful <laughs> as the freaking quarterback individual drills. So let's go with, we need a total of four points to upgrade the possession receiver thing. Let's just, let's go with all pro and see how difficult this is. Because all Madden for these individual drills, at least at the quarterback position, was AIDS. <laughs> freaking I got injected with the AIDS virus every time I played that. Because I had some STDs from <laughs> this freaking game. Because... It, it's not clean. This game on all Madden is not clean at all. Make sure you double wrap that thing or maybe triple wrap it. Make sure it's not expired either. As we go into our first individual workout as a wide receiver. What team are we playing for this time? My god, you guys got triggered every time I asked about a gosh thing why we were wearing a certain uniform. But we're, we're, we're working out for the Chiefs this time. Trust me, I know what we're doing. Come on. I mean, that corner's on me like white on rice, but we caught it anyway. We're going to break a tackle because my arms are 25 inches. I need to compete in the freaking Mr. Olympia. Let's see how we can do. How many points do I need again? I need a lot, don't I? Come on, good throw, quarterback. I'm the GOAT. I mean, my guy is going to be the greatest wide receiver of all time. Let's go one-on-one. -on -one. No, nope, just JK. Throw it to me here. That's going to be an interception. I'm the GOAT. I'm telling you, man. I'm like, a, I'm like Julian Edelman, but just two sizes bigger. Like two times as big. Never mind. Forgot I had a rock in his hands. Freaking rocks. Let's let's come back in. Come on. Throw me that ball. Look at me. Jeez. It's like a guy named Daryl on steroids. A guy named Daryl. Daryl's so mad that his name is Daryl that he's on a mission. He's on a mission to become the greatest wide receiver of all time. Nothing can stop me. Nothing can stop me. We're all the way up. We're freaking quoting Drake. Now Drake's going to copyright this video. I need to make some money from it because this is my job. Okay, i got to stop quoting Drake. That's a sign from God that Drake does not meet, need to be quoted. He sold his soul to the devil. That's what nature's trying to tell me. Okay, so we need to concentrate. I'm talking about Drake and, and people named Daryl. So we need to concentrate. This Okay, I, I got this, I think. That was a relatively not good throw, but we caught it in the zone. That gave me a lot of points. We're almost, we got to almost 10,000. I think I definitely got the five points needed. Or I got the five points for all pro because we were great right there. I like that lightning bolt. It makes me happy. It makes me feel like um, like the flash or whatever. So we got one point. So that does add to the possession receiver stat, I think. So that's good. So we have another individual workout, which will sim all the way to. And this is actually going pretty well. So we're going to start our second event. And this time, can I get, I see I can even get all 10 points for this. Let's up the possession again. Let's go all mad. <laughs> I'm about to get injected with STDs. STDs, I need, I'm double wrapping. Hold on, where are they at? All right, we're wrapped twice. No STDs coming my way. Practice safe individual workouts on this channel. No AIDS coming my way. It does take a long time for this to load, so let's be calm. We gotta be patient, because greatness requires patience. Greatness requires patience, remember that. Remember that the next time you're writing that, writing your essay, and write that as your thesis statement. No matter if your essay is about pickles or wiggling your pickle or wiggling. <laughs> Let's move on. 
Let's see if we can be great right here. I'm playing for the Eagles now. And I, apparently the Eagles are not going to sign me because I'm trash. I look sick in this Eagles uniform. I didn't even call for the ball. Okay, this just started bad. Philadelphia, I'm sorry, but we're not playing too good. Okay, concentrate. I'm talking about freaking wiggling your piggle. <laughs> okay, this is bad. I, okay, I put it on All Madden. That's kind of, okay, that makes sense. It's a little bit harder on All Madden. There's a big difference between All Madden and All Pro. So I have STDs. I'm kind of like Magic Johnson, but not as black. I got, I went, I, I tanned, I got some, a little tan today, but, uh, I need to get more of a tan. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> what am I talking about? I can't even catch a goddamn ball. <laughs> All right, so one-on-one -on -one with this dude. This has not been the greatest of individual workouts. I caught a ball. Miracles have happened, boys. We have two plays to get a lot of points. I don't even think I'm going to get any points out of this. Throw it, bro. Throw it. We're going to be great. Catch this. This dude... This dude ain't good. <laughs> this cornerback is like having the Hulk at corner. I can't even catch a ball. Who's the quarterback back then? Is that Donovan? Donovan? Don that is Donovan. Donovan ain't... Okay, so we got to remember, I currently have STDs. So that's going to be bad in terms of trying to find a woman to be with the rest of my life because who wants to be with a guy that got STDs from a video game? So we're going to advance to my third... I actually know we have an IQ test. And at this point, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to pass this, so let's concentrate. Rookie IQ test. I missed one. <laughs> I missed, this is like the ACT, dude. Like, I got to take the GRE soon for grad school, and this is harder than the GRE, I guarantee it. We need a book. Bronze is to metal as mahogany is to, to force. <laughs> Freak. <laughs> oh, let's just, let's just pretend I'm not going to Google. I promise you I'm not going to Google. Promise. Promise, I know what the word mahogany means. I'm not, I'm not just dope. I'm not checking Google for nothing. I'm just, I'm taking a break. I've talked this whole entire commentary. I'm just gonna take a break, and I'm not currently typing in mahogany on the Google search bar, and I'm not waiting on Wikipedia to pop up to tell me the definition of mahogany. It's a kind of wood. So, does that mean it's to, more to forest or wood? It is wood. It's gotta be forest. Wait, no, I'm I'm going with Forrest. That's not good that I didn't know that. I'm kind of stupid. So this is going to be six. What is the next logical number in this series? It's going to be 35. This one's definitely going to be 15. What's the seventh letter in the alphabet? This is bad. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. If I would have missed that, I would be dumb. If the average NFL football weighs 15 ounces, what is the weight in ounces of six football? 15 times six that is a lot. That's uh, that's 80. No, that's 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 not 80. That's I'm scared now. That that would be 90. I'm stupid. What is the square root of 121? That's 11. Uh, select. That is 11, right? Yes. Yeah. Like the valid conclusion. If you study, you will learn. Wait. If you study, you will learn. If you learn, you will be smart. Therefore, if you study, you will be smart. I'm a. I did. I didn't even look at the answer choice, and I said that out loud. That's grad level harvard law school material which number logically fits in the following series that's minus 11 every time so that's gonna be 54. which word doesn't belong eagle bat hawk <laughs> freaking bat is not like an eagle or a hawk so we're gonna go with the bat is that talking about a baseball bat or bat that's not specific enough i'm throwing this question out they gotta round up for this how did i miss another question uh, oh how am I about to graduate college? This is crazy. We got another interview scheduled. I got to have a good interview with my people. Who is going to make a bigger impact in the NFL? You or Ted Ginn? How tall is he? 5'9", five, 5'10"? Five, this is the pros we're talking about. Not like I'm 5'9 or 5'10". What number are you going to wear in the pros? Uh, doesn't really matter. It's only a number. I want to wear three. What team would you like to be drafted by? Like, why is it only giving me three options? What if I didn't want any of these three options? The Raiders. I'll show I'll show Randy Moss how it's done. I'll catch for Dante any day, and the weather's great in Miami. In Green Green Bay, that place has so much history. Brett, I think Brett's the quarterback back in the day at this point in time. So I'm going to go with Green Bay. You care when you get gra uh, drafted? Sure. The higher I go, the more I get paid. See, simple economics. Simple. It's simple, Conrad. <laughs> Freaking... 
<laughs> okay, Conrad might be a worse name than Daryl. Just picture if every time when if when you were in grade school and you had a substitute and they had to read off the roster and check attendance, they called out Conrad or Dale. <laughs> Freaking Conrad or Dale. <laughs> I feel sorry for Conrad. So we're gonna advance all the way to our final individual workout. And then we're actually, we are going to do the combine in today's episode. So let's see. I think we just go with possession receiver again. And we definitely do not do all Madden because I'm trying to get rid of STDs. So apparently EA is experimenting with uh, stem cell research. And if you do good and you pass on all pro in the individual workout and superstar mode as a wide receiver, you uh, get rid of your STD. So this is very very important that we do good in this individual drill because I don't want STDs because they're not good they're not healthy and I want to be healthy because I want to set a good example for the youth that follows in my footsteps so let's make sure we do very good in today's drill so I can set a good example for the youth that's not good examples for the youth but we can still be good for the youth so th this is this is what has happened I'm a Falcon I'm like Julio Jones, but this is before Julio Jones was born, because this is in 2008. That went through my hands. So, okay, so this is, I, I really need to concentrate at this point, because this is bad. Come on, catch this, Daryl. That's pass interference. Okay, six chances left. We can still be a good example for all the kids out there. Come on, catch this ball. We got a touchdown. We got 2,000 points. I think I need 5,000. We still have five passes to go. You know what? One on one. One handed. That's the worst throw I've ever seen since 9:13. Gosh dang! Who's the quarterback now? Michael. Michael, you can't be. You can't be letting me down, Michael. Come on, Michael. Throw a dot. Okay, so we have a, a problem. I caught the ball, so we still need uh, 2,000 points in two plays. So I, I have got to catch a touchdown, or the youth example is not going to be good. I got to catch this. Catch this off the tip, you imp- <laughs> Gosh dang it. So we have uh, one play, and I've got to score a touchdown. Well, we're, we're not going to set a good example for the youth, and I'm going <laughs> to have freaking STDs. All right, chunk this up, bro. Chunk it up. I got AIDS. I wonder if they ask me in my uh, NFL draft interview if I have AIDS, because I have AIDS after playing this. How did I do so good in the first one? And now I'm not doing good. So, we didn't get any points. So that's not good. So the last thing we had to do was the NFL Combine. <laughs> okay, so, we have one chance to be great. I've had people tweet at me of them running 4 40s out of this 40-yard uh, dash out of the Combine. I'm about to blow you at the water. We're about to run in the negatives. We're about to run in the negatives. We're actually going to break the secrets. The secrets. Y'all ever watched that movie? What's that movie called? Uh, National Treasure. We're about to break the code to National Treasure and figure out how to run the 40-yard dash. Every coach, it's all a knowledge game. They want, you to, they, they want you to start at the finish line. So, therefore, when they, like, they want you to start the 40-yard dash, not at the white line. They want you to try to get a head start and start near the finish line. Therefore, once they... They blow the whistle, you're already at the finish line. It's all a knowledge game, and it's all about who has the most confidence to do what they think is best for their career. So we're about to break that code and find the national treasure. So it's time. We're a Cincinnati Bengal now. So we have to run as fast as possible. I'm, I'm running fast. I'm running fast. You imbecile! Alright, so we're slow. I, I somehow didn't crack the code. And we're not getting that gold out of the National Treasure. So we just ran a 6 10 uh, 40 yard dash, which, you know, as a legendary speed wide receiver, that's not the greatest. But we're going to do better on the bench press here. So no pressure. Come on, go up. I think the key is to not get your, your bar down in the red. So we're going to try to get. We had 17 reps of the bench press last time around. Let's see if we can break 20. We're doing good so far. You know, the, we're, we're actually, we're benching. We're benching some heavy weight, a lot of reps. I think my guy took a cycle of Trimbalone sandwiches and testosterone. So we're at almost at 14 reps. We might, we might actually get 20. Okay, so the 40-yard dash was a fluke. 
my, I got I ran into a horse fly and he tripped me because he doesn't want me to be great. So we just we just got 20 reps. No, bust it out. Bust the nut to get that rep. Testosterone freaking overload. We just got 20 reps, 21 reps on the bench press, and my controller disconnected because it can't handle the greatness. So last but not least, we've got to do good. <laughs> the last two individual drills are trash. A 40-yard dash was trash, and a bench press was decent. So let's catch some balls, because I'm used to catching some balls. So one-on-one, -on -one, deep. Come on, one-on-one. -on -one. That's the worst throw I've ever seen in my life. Carson Palmer... You've got to do better than this kind of nonsense. So who am I going up against in training? That's a touchdown. I am the greatest to ever exist. If I can get a lot of points, I might get... It, what does it matter how I do? I get drafted regardless. This game is crazy. We're going to get drafted. It don't even tell us where we get drafted. So what's the point? Oh, this is a good play coming from me. My guy's not even going up for the catch. I'm calling you Daryl from now on. Until you can catch a football, your name is Daryl. Okay, you're no longer Daryl. That's good. So we have five catches to go. Okay, that was a mistake on my part. That's not my intention, but we'd have to live with our mistakes. Throw the ball. That's got to be... I caught the ball. That, that, that counts as a touchdown. That did count as a touchdown. So we have 7,900 points. That's relatively good if, for anybody if your name is Daryl. And if your name is Daryl, I apologize for offending you, but you got to admit it sucks that your name is Daryl. Okay, so I need to concentrate. We have one play left, and I kind of want to get a lot of points. Throw the ball. We're going to be great. Catch this. Okay, so that was bad. Pretty embarrassing, but it could be a lot worse. We could be the 21 overall quarterback we were previously. So this episode's been kind of crazy. I don't know what happened to me, uh, like, in my brain this episode, but <laughs> we're here. We are here. And we're at the NFL Draft after this episode so i think that's that's a that's a record for never having a, to, to uh, restart my video i think we just did that in one take which is pretty cool so just in case can i look can i look at the depth i don't have a depth chart so i don't know what my overall is but hopefully it got higher from the greatness that we displayed in today's episode so that's gonna do it guys for today's episode of the madden 2008 superstar mode the nfl draft will be in next episode to see where we get drafted and hopefully you guys are excited for that once again if we can smash 2,000 likes on today's episode we will have a double upload for later tonight but with that said be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to be a part of greatness i will catch you guys next time have a great rest of your day peace you ever feel like like you got abducted by aliens or something like that happens to me all the time but I wonder if it's real.